Hey tubers, so it's getting a little bit on into the evening and I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. I told the wife to use the batteries, so she has been. <laughs> um, it's been doing two and a half kilowatts of power. I got a new screen up here after my old screen died. Got a holy for cabling done. All that band by there is pretty neat and tidy. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. Um, I'm using the monitor to hide a lot of the mess. Um, I got the new Elcon charger. Uh, El Eltec charger, sorry. That's a server power supply. Now I use that to balance my, um, drip when it was raining, that's a smart charger. Uh, I've just disconnected it for now because I'm trying to make it look good. But it's got a little uh, cable that runs up into, where's my camera? Those two red ones and that 120 um, ohm resistor. So there's two red plugs, uh, must be 13 and 14 maybe? No, three, four, five and six. And that runs down to that communication port. Communication port into there. That plugs into power. Then I got uh, two heavy leads coming from the inverter. And that was what charged my batteries and floated them off for me. It, uh, the, um, the Watchmon can actually control that and keep cutting the power down so it doesn't get too, um, doesn't crank too much power into it. But there's not much else to show you though. A lot of live feeds and stuff this morning showing your loads. We've still got 52 volts in the batteries. So we're still going well for voltage throughout the night. Let's have a look over here. Now this is what I'm really proud of. Really, really proud of. Now this is the new pack. Try and tell me where those, um... Oh, I know you can see where the long ones are installed, but bloody hell I'm proud of that. All the lights flashing away. Everything's neat and tidy and tucked away. All the packs are all done the same. All nice and clean. I've got the um, the shunt here. So I've got, that's practically off, 0.3 of an amp. So you've got positive, positive coming in from here. Obviously I've got that circuit breaker there. And the negative is coming underneath there. I've tied all these in, which I didn't have done before. Make it a bit neater. The negative isn't done yet because I'm not finalized. And the negative goes up into the fuse up here and then comes back down into the, um, what do you call it? Shunt. So the power, the reason why the charge controller is connected up to the inverter side of the shunt is if I put it on this side, it wouldn't count the electricity going back in. So I need the, the electricity going the right direction and stuff like that. And the shunt is cabled through there, down there, and then through that hole, and it all goes out through conduit, and everything's in this um, braided line. And it comes in there, and then goes up to the bottom there. You can see a red light down the bottom. All the cables come in there. So that's a bit of an update for you tubers. If you've got any specific questions about this, please ask. I am learning slowly. There's a lot more to do. And as you can see, that's been running for hours and hours and hours. Uh, about 25 hours, 26 hours. With a fairly large load on it. I don't know if anybody saw the, the, the test this morning, but it was a two and a half thousand watt load for many hours. And that's at the bottom. If it was bottom balanced, obviously that would be nice and neat and tidy, but it's not bottom balanced, it's top balanced. But even so, we're not that far out. 3.75 to 3.81. Uh, there's a 2,800 watt load. And there's no cells that are really showing any sign of really hurting yet. Hopefully by the morning, we've got some cells that are hurting that I'm gonna to know to replace because they've dropped in voltage at the bottom end. So tubers, thanks very much for tuning in. I'll go and tell the wife to lay easy on the go easy on the power. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.